Programming your own audio library is not an easy task to do, especially if you're using the C++ language. Now, that's why you should sometimes use existing audio libraries so that you can get it up and running in no time. Now, there are many options to choose from. I recommend the Erklan library. The Erklan library has a very simple and easy coding structure for you to get up and running to play audio files and make slight adjust adjustments. It has been used extensively throughout the gaming industry. Now, Erklan has few of those licenses you can pick from. If it matches your taste, you can choose to purchase it and use it for commercial usage. I will be using the non-commercial one. Click on download. I'm, I will be 64 bit. It will give you a zip file. Open the zip file. Click inside. There will be uh, two directories we need to use right away. Now, I've already created a very simple console application in C++ using Visual Studio. In order to import Erklan into your project, first I will go to this directory to the solution, create a new folder, I will call it externals. And then I will create two, two more directories. One will be called libs. Another will be called includes. Inside the includes, you will drag these header files inside the, the include directory inside of the zip file. And for the libs, I will go into lib win x64 visual studio then drag those two files inside afterwards right click on your solution uh, i mean your project click on properties vc++ directories there will be two places we need to change the first one is include directories Click on this arrow button, edit, and then type solution the a dollar sign and then the brackets, then solution the, then a slash externals includes. This means to find the includes directory, add this includes directory as part of the search route for your header files and then OK also library directories we also need to change that again solution the the means directory slash externals slash libs OK finally inside our linker input we need to link to our lib file which we dragged into which is this lib file copy the name paste it and add a semicolon why is this workable because we add a direct a path to this libs file that's why when we type the lib the lib file inside our input it knows where to search for it then click OK oh and make sure that since my configuration is set to release and platform is set to, set to x6, x64 this place also needs to change to release and x64 now we should be able to include the Erklan header file. After that, we can use its namespace to reduce code verbosity. 
let's create a iSound engine pointer. It will point to a Ultron device object. And by creating that object, we need to call the create Ultron device function. Add a check to make sure that it is not null. Then we can type engine play 2D. Now play 2D should be able to play an audio file. And the audio file inside our zip the zip file it should be containing an audio some audio files for you to use. I'll be using the getout.ogg audio file. Right to in order to locate to the audio file, we I will be uh, dragging this audio file into our project. So right click on your project, open folder in File Explorer, create a new folder called Media. Drag this audio file into the media directory. In your play2d function, give an argument of the relative location to that audio file. The second argument, I would give it a true to set this audio file to a, to a loop. Afterwards, before the end of the main function, we should be calling the drop to delete this engine in case of memory leak. Sorry about this, but I found out that I forgot to import some files as well. You need to include some DLL files given inside this zip file under located under the bin win x64 visual studio or if you're using an operating system you should choose the other ones now find inside the folder there are three dols dynamic libraries you need to add to your project right click on your project open folder in file explorer and then drag those dol files into your project's folder you also should add a while loop to after after the play 2D so that the the engine will keep playing the audio file until you close the the application. If you don't add this while loop, the engine won't even be able to pl play the audio file and it will already drop the engine. Let's play it to try to see if it's working.